there's always a need for, uh, for growth capital for any mm -hmm. kind of business. And uh, these are uh, particular kinds of complicated businesses that have a double bottom line. Um, around uh, sort of this new, new idea around um, pay for success or social impact bonds, that's a, sort of a new kind of investing. The basic idea is that the private sector is putting uh, capital in up front, taking a risk on a preventive program and putting up enough capital that that program can really demonstrate results, results that the government is interested in, and in the best case, uh, reducing costs on the public sector side so that government is willing to then repay uh, those investors if you can actually demonstrate that you can reduce their costs. And in the field of social enterprise, we think this is especially uh, promising around a particular <laughs> population, which is people that have been incarcerated. Because clearly, uh, particularly in California, but all over the country, we have just skyrocketing rates of recidivism to prison. I mean, they're as high as 70% of the people who get out go back in. And many of them do that because they don't have a job. They can't get a job when they get out. Uh, and there are some very promising programs. We work with one called the Center for Employment Opportunities that has a, a very good uh, evaluation that's been done by a very reputable firm that shows that uh, by providing jobs in a supportive environment and uh, support, they can reduce, and they have res reduced recidivism to jail, prison, and new crime. Uh, we've helped them expand to California, and we think there's an opportunity out there. C California's prison system is really uh, under a lot of pressure right now, as many of you have probably been reading in the paper, uh, and, uh, and needs to shrink. And um, so th we think there's a real opportunity there to capitalize the growth of that uh, program so that they can employ more people, demonstrate definitively uh, in this case, most of the money is uh, being held by local government uh, that they can reduce uh, recidivism and reduce those costs and then have the uh, public sector repay them. 